Let me show you the simplest way for transferring any video from any Mac onto an iPhone or iPad. Let me start on my Mac here. I wanna send this video file here from my Mac to my iPhone. Here's how simple this is. First, make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and also make sure Bluetooth is turned on here on your Mac. So that's the very first step. You're on Wi-Fi and you have Bluetooth enabled. We're gonna do this completely wirelessly. It's the best way to do it. Now, same thing on my phone. I just went over here and I turned on Wi-Fi. I'm not actually on the same Wi-Fi, but you might as well be on the same Wi-Fi. I also turn on Bluetooth, but as long as you have Bluetooth turned on, on your Mac, it should work. Just to be safe, to make sure it works, turn both of these on, on your phone as well. So then back on the computer, this is all you have to do. Have a Finder window open. This is just a Finder window, this icon over here. And I'm gonna open up a new Finder window. So I'm gonna go to File and open a new Finder window. And I'll make sure they're both open. One has my video file highlighted. And the other one I'll show you here. On the left side of your screen, you wanna go to AirDrop. This should be on the left side of your Finder window. And make sure right here, everyone is selected. Or if you have yourself as a contact, you could do contacts only. Just to make sure it works though, again, you could do every one and then turn this back onto contact if you have any issues. Now, as long as this is all set up and the same setting is set up for your iPhone, the moment you unlock your iPhone, you should appear over here. So while the iPhone is unlocked, I'm gonna grab this video file and I'm gonna drop it on top of my name here. And it's gonna transfer completely wirelessly. And it just transferred it over to my iPhone. So I could go ahead and press play on this video that I just had on my computer and it's on my iPhone. Now, if it didn't work, it's because your AirDrop is not activated. So in some cases, and it should be by default, but if you press and hold in this box here, there is one called AirDrop. Make sure this is activated. Again, it should be by default. And make sure, again, you could press and hold and make sure this is set to everyone on your iPhone. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you on the next video.